everyone, and welcome back to the Math and the MCAT series. In this video, we are returning to logarithms with part two and a slightly more complicated logarithmic question. So as usual, go ahead, try this question on the screen on your own, pause the video, and then we'll come back and do it together. All right, so as you can see, this is a bit of a more complicated question because we have a pH with an H plus concentration of five times 10 to the negative nine. So this number, which is known as our mantissa, right? The number in the front of the exponent is not one, right? Remember in our last video, we talked about how if our mantissa is one, we can just kind of ignore it and do our logarithmic calculations just with the exponential number. Now we have to actually deal with a non one mantissa. So the first step that I always want you to do when you run into this type of problem, you have to do a logarithm for a exponential number that has a mantissa that's not one is still do it as if it was one, all right? Because it's going to be close to that number. So what would be the pH if we had one times 10 to the negative nine? Like our previous video talked about, we can walk through. Our pH is going to be negative log of our H plus concentration, which would be 10 to the negative nine. And for logarithms, we cancel out the tens, we cancel out the exponent, we bring that negative nine down to the front with our negative sign, negative, negative nine, just equals a pH of nine. So our pH here, if this was one, would be nine. And we know it has to be close, right? It has to be near nine, because that's our exponent. So now the second step I want you to do is move the mantissa into the tens place. What would be the pH if it was 10 times 10 to the negative nine? Well, the first thing to do is convert it so that our mantissa is one, right? So 10 times 10 to the negative nine is the same thing as saying one, times 10 to the negative eight, right? We just move the tens place over and make this number bigger, closer to zero. One times 10 to the negative eight would give us a pH of eight. All right, so now we have our range because five is in between 10 and one, right? In between these two mantissas. And that range in pH would give us a range of eight to nine. So we know that our pH is somewhere in between eight and nine. There's only one answer that matches that, that's A. Now we can simplify this down to a general algebraic rule. So if we have a mantissa, I'm just going to make it little m, multiplied by an exponent that's 10 to the negative x, it could be any exponent, we can now use our rules to make the assumption that our pH will be less than x in the same way that 8.3 is less than 9, but it's going to be greater than x minus 1 because it was greater than eight, right? Because it's between this one number and this 10 value. So this is our rule, all right? If X is meaning the number in the exponent, our pH is a little less than X, but greater than X minus one. And we can do this with any H plus calculation. You can try it. Now let's go ahead and do a second problem the other way around. Same principles, just reverse information, okay? So in this question, right, we have a pH and we're asked for the H plus concentration and the pH is not an integer, right? So it's the same kind of rule of we have to deal with a non one mantissa, but we can use our principles that we talked about in the last problem. So go ahead, pause the video again, give this one a try on your own, and then we'll walk through it together. All right, so we wanna start by remembering our rule. Remember our rule that our pH is gonna be less than X and greater than X minus one if X means the exponential number, right? Here, usually a negative, right? So let's start by figuring out what our range is. If our pH is 6.5, that would mean X is seven, right? It's a little bigger. And our X minus one would equal six. Now X, right? The X that we're looking for is going to be this bigger number. So we know that our exponential value for this H plus concentration has to be 10 to the negative seven. Now we also know that our mantissa has to be greater than one, but less than 10, because that was our rule to use this calculation in the first place. So what we're looking for is an answer choice that puts the mantissa as greater than one and less than 10. So it's somewhere in between one and 10 and our exponent as 10 to the negative seven. And check on that, we only have one answer that matches that, which is C. Now you may think like, oh, 6.5, wouldn't the mantissa just be five times 10 to the negative seven? Remember that these are logarithmic values and exponential values, they're not gonna be linear. So it's not gonna be exactly right, but it's gonna get us in this range. Now there is 
uh, there are out there a lot of uh, like ninja tricks and ways to get a very close estimate of the mantissa with these kinds of problems. I just want you guys to know you don't even have to go that far, all right? You don't have to work that much on math. I don't want you spending over a minute on these questions because we can use our logic and critical reasoning of what these numbers do for us in terms of logarithms uh, to make it easier for ourselves. So by using this rule that we've created in this video, this should hopefully shorten this time down to about 30 seconds for a question like this to get it right. So I hope that helps, and as always, happy studying. Thank you.